so the 49ers re-signed Nate Sudfeld, gave him like $3 million, a couple guaranteed. This is their number two quarterback. I don't think they're going to all of a sudden go out and give Marcus Mariota more than that so they could have like a super expensive quarterback room where only one guy gets to play. I think they're going all in with Sudfeld. And if, if God forbid, Trey Lance misses any time, it's Sudfeld time. How do you feel? Not good. Not freaking good. Not good. Me- <laughs> to me on that uh, on that question, you know, in, in that scenario, why are you bringing in Brian Hoyer to add to the room, right? You already have a, a, a subpar quarterback in Nate Sudfeld. Just roll roll with those two. Save yourself the, the couple of million. This one initially to me just felt like, okay, they're, they're bringing him back. They like him. They're going to put him on the practice squad again. But then you look at the contract and, and there's a very real possibility that they're viewing him as a backup option. Now, according to Schefter, there were two other teams that were interested. And so maybe that drove up the price, but paying $2 million for somebody that potentially rides the practice squad seems pretty unlikely. I hate this. I hate this. And I think this is arrogance on the 49ers part. Like every year, except for last year, they've treated the backup quarterback spot. Like it doesn't matter. And you know, it's just some guy you want who's smart, like almost like another, it's almost like a quarterback coach. It's almost like a, a quarterback caddy who helps you get prepared for the test. Right. He's really good on the uh, in the meeting room. Right. Damn about how he is in the meeting room. The meeting room. The one reason the Niners made the playoffs last year is because their backup quarterback won a must-win game. Yeah. Jimmy was hurt. They had to beat Houston, and they had a backup quarterback who could. Now, Houston wasn't great, but still, they needed a backup quarterback to win a must-win game in freaking December. Might have been. It might have been January, and he did. And he did. And now you're going to tell me that Nate Sudfeld was going to beat. Houston? I don't think so. Nate Sudfeld was abysmal. He was so bad when he played in Philly that the the head coach got accused of throwing the game. Yeah. Literally. And then got fired. Awful. Awful. This is a complete departure. The Niners spent all last season telling us how important the backup freaking quarterback was. Like, hey, we need to trade all these assets to bring in Trey Lance. Not because we we want to start him. No, 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 no. Did you see how the last couple years went when Jimmy yeah. arrived? I mean, did you see it's important? We need a backup. We got it. We got to have that guy that can win games. And this year they're like, no, 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 no. Backup quarterback? What do you mean? We, you don't need a backup quarterback. Dude, Nate Sudfeld is going to be Kyle Shanahan's quarterback coach in four years. He's just grooming him for the for the coaching staff. You already know. You already – he's going to be his offensive coordinator in 10 years. I'm, I would bet any amount of toaster strudels on that fact. So so my hope is that they just overpaid to, to keep him on the practice squad because of that additional interest from those other teams. However – million dollars to be on the practice squad? That's, that's my crazy. hope. That's what my hope. His agent? How did he finagle that? Three million? The three million, thankfully, is with incentives. Two million is the guaranteed portion. But what goes contrary to my hope is the Niners in their press release did the long version of Nate Sudfeld's history. They had all the other one-year contracts, and they were just mentioned. And then, as if it were the freaking piece de resistance of the article, they're like Nate Sudfeld. Let me tell you a little bit about Nate Sudfeld, and they go through his history as if it's some storied history of success within the NFL, and they go back to talk about him as a a native of Modesto. He attended the Indiana University, appeared in 37 games, as if they're telling the story of a quarterback that's relevant to the conversation. No offense, Nate. Nate Sudfeld has nothing in common with Trey Lance's skill set. Nate Sudfeld's a statue. Trey Lance is a mobile quarterback. So he doesn't even fit what the Niners are trying to do. And then he's never started a game in the NFL. 69 snaps. 69 snaps. Yeah. And his quarterback rating is 77, and he's 28. And Adam Schefter actually wrote in the tweet yesterday that a lot of people think Nate Sudfeld is going to be a starter in the league. What? What? The man's thrown 37 passes. What? Yeah, man, I don't get it. Like, if you want to keep him on the practice squad and, like, groom him for your coaching staff, that's cool, man. But actually get a backup quarterback. How are you not going to get Tyrod Taylor? Are you kidding me? How cheap are you? You're not going to get Tyrod or Colin Kaepernick or anyone? That's played and started a game, one game. You, you can't get Colt McCoy. Colt McCoy beat you last year. You're going to go with Nate Sudfeld? Crazy. 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 Why can't the Niners go all in with J.C. Jacks a la Ramsey? They, I think they might. Who said they, they won't? could. Who said they won't? I think they might. I thought Sudfeld has. <laughs> he does. That's what Schefter tells us. 